Snails are cooler than you think. At first glance, you might mistake these animals for some slimy bastards just sitting around all day, munching on other people's plants. But were we not, I'm here to open your eyes by introducing you to some of the coolest snails out there. From remarkable beauties to silent killers. First, however, we need to get philosophical. What are snails? To snail or not to snail? Snails are found in the tree of life, belonging to gastropods. Under this classification, we find a plethora of snails and slugs living on both land and underwater. According to most sources, the term snail is generally applied to gastropods possessing shells big enough for them to hide in, whereas those lacking any shell are referred to as slugs. Ah, okay, so slugs are not snails. That makes sense. Biological naming conventions are often controversial, with not everyone agreeing on terminology. Koala bear, koala bear, koala bear! Shut up! Nonetheless, this guy here is a real snail expert, and he changed my mind. I mean, just listen to this. So, um, snail biologists, we do think of slugs as being snails. Ah, so slugs are snails. That makes sense. Snails inhabit all continents, including Antarctica. Species on land rely on their mucus like a Swiss army knife. It helps them conserve moisture, move along the ground, climb, and shield their sensitive skin against sharp objects. When it comes to reproduction, snails have an advantage as hermaphrodites. They can choose between slinging dick and catching glisses, if you get me. This leads to less competition and overall more mating opportunities. Interestingly, if they watch too many alpha male videos online, something fascinating happens to them. Fellow grind snails, by following these principles I mentioned, you can become a high value snail and turn your mucus into liquid gold. They develop the ability to reproduce asexually without a partner. This may seem like a good strategy in case a snail cannot find a mate, but the self-fertilized eggs may give rise to weaker offspring. So this is only done when a snail is truly desperate. I hereby deem you, the viewer, ready. Meet the first of the cool snails. The Violet Sea Snail. Apart from his pretty appearance, this guy has a pretty interesting adaptation. By injecting air into his mucus, he creates a cluster of bubbles that are buoyant enough to elevate him to the water's surface, earning him the nickname Bubble Raft Snail. Leaving the seafloor behind, these guys get access to things few other snails could only dream of, such as an all-you-can-eat yellowfish buffet. Meet the Golden Elephant Snail. With a stunning golden hue and trunk-like proboscis, it really lives up to its name. While rare in nature, they are a popular choice for aquarium enthusiasts around the world. This is because, beyond their visual appealing qualities, they use their proboscis to dig through sand to eat algae and debris. Sea Angels and Sea Butterflies these guys ditched the traditional sliding on foot strategy for the much more innovative flap and swim strategy. And I think their status as the most common gastropod in the world speak volumes for the success of this adaptation. However, ocean acidification might change that. The sea butterflies have shells made out of unstable calcium, leading to vulnerability as the shell weakens. And being a species far down in the food web, they feed lots of animals. If they were to go extinct, much of the marine ecosystem could face a collapse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who cares about that? Well, Grandpa Eugene, let me say it this way. No sea butterflies, no food for fish. No food for fish, no sushi. Um, I see. Here is yet another unusual looking snail, and this guy is called the Californian Black Sea Hare. It can grow to impressive dimensions, with weights up to 15 pounds and a length reaching 3.2 feet. They get their dark coloration from the brown algae they eat. 
This algae also provides the sea hares with fish repelling toxins they store in their flesh, ensuring they're left in peace. Speaking of more appetizing snails, let's talk about the grapevine snail used in French cuisine. It's beautiful. Wow! May I? No, Grandpa, don't. My fair Oh, what happened? I don't feel my tongue. Well, you just ate the banana slug. Found in the tropical woodlands of northwestern USA, it stands out with its vibrant yellow color, though the colors range from normal to overripe. Another fun fact about the banana slug is that it holds the title for being one of the slowest creatures in the world. It's been clocked in at a leisurely pace of 3.3 feet an hour. Now, if you're anything like me, you might think, how do these slow and tasty looking slugs survive? It seems like an easy picking for most animals, right? First of all, the colors function as camouflage among the brown and yellow leaf litter. Also, they secrete lots of sticky, mouth-numbing mucus, deterring potential predators. Yet, there is another, even more compelling reason not to eat these slugs. Oh, Mr. Grandson, I don't feel so good. Perfect timing. You see, slugs can carry some nasty parasites and diseases. Eugene here has fallen victim to rat lungworms. These awful creatures will turn his nervous system into a makeshift hiking trail until they eventually meet their end. Following their death, these decaying parasites can then result in infections and in rare cases lead to meningitis, taking you to the grave. So let's pray for Grandpa Eugene in the comments, you guys. <laughs> this is the candy cane snail, a visually captivating snail species residing high in the treetops. They are distinguished by their adorable rainbow-striped shells that range from red to purple, and it's believed that the color is dependent on the food they eat, different lichen and algae. As you have seen so far, these guys come in all shapes, sizes and colors. Not all of them look like this kind of generic cookie-cutter snail. With that being said though, this seemingly mundane fellow is the next intriguing snail. So what makes him so special then? Well, what if I put an ant next to him? A small ant, mind you. Meet Angostopyla samion, which means grain of sand in ancient Greek. A very fitting name considering their shell measures less than one thirtieth of an inch. The shells were discovered in a cave in Vietnam, accumulated near the bottom of a rock formation. Scientists speculate that these shells dropped from the limestone crevices inhabited by the snails. Since you've just met the smallest snail, it's time to balance things out by introducing you to the other extreme. What? What do you mean you don't see him? Oh right, let me zoom out. This titan is called the Australian Trumpet. Reaching 3 feet in length and tipping the scales at up to 40 pounds, this is the heavyweight champion of the gastropods, proudly holding the title as the world's largest snail. But despite being this big, they are surprisingly hard to find in the wild, and very little is known about their life and behaviors. There are no pictures of them on the internet. So, the fellow you see here is a close relative and not the real thing. However, a single study has been conducted on their feeding practices. They eat by inserting their long proboscis in tubes where marine worms live. The worms are then pulled out and eaten. This here is the blue dragon, a sea slug that effortlessly glide on the water's surface, adorned with beautiful colors. Sounds familiar? Vibrant blues might look flashy and stand outish, but remember folks, we're out at sea. So when seen from above, it blends in well against the blue water. Likewise, its pale underbelly mimics the bright sky when seen from underneath. This type of camouflage is referred to as countershading and is very common in nature. 
for example in Great Whites. But in the event of a failed disguise, the blue dragon doesn't need to conceal itself. You see, these mad lads like to feast on the stinging tentacles of the highly venomous Portuguese man o -war. The stinging cells in the tentacles are then stored and concentrated in their bodies. So the blue dragons basically absorb and make the venom more potent. Similar to what the black sea hare does, but to a more extreme degree. If you spot this beautiful shell on the beach or while snorkeling, resist the temptation to pick it up. It's a trap! Hidden within this shell lies one of the world's most venomous creatures, patiently awaiting its next victim. Allow me to introduce the Geography Cone, a carnivorous snail with a truly unique and effective hunting technique. Like a sneaky ninja, this creature starts moving at sunset. Hidden in the darkness, it slowly tracks the scent of its unsuspecting, often sleeping prey. Once within striking distance, it asks, Are you sleeping, man? Just to show that the freaking venom fills are pulled into the poor fish! Instantly paralyzed, the rudely awakened fish can only remain motionless as the cone snail slowly retracts the line of the harpoon into its mouth. It then engulfs the helpless prey and devours it alive. So, what have we learned today? Snails are beautiful, dangerous, and above all else, cool. Now excuse me, I have to take grandpa to the hospital so you can meet him in future videos. Bye.